Okay, this is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 10, and the objective here is to compare and evaluate expressions with parentheses. So we're going to start out with um, question number 2 from the homework, and it says circle the expressions, expression or expressions that give the same product as 6 times 3 eighths, and explain how we know. Okay, so I'm going to do 6 times 3 eighths. And I know I get a product of 2 and 1 fourth. So which one of these expressions has um, the same product as 2 and 1 fourth? Okay. So the way I solve these, let me erase all this, um, is I um, try to solve each of the expressions. And I have the students do it as well. And I went ahead and did that. And I know that um, 6 times 3 divided by 8 and 3 eighths times 6 um, are the expressions of that are equal to 2 and 1 fourth. And if I take a look at these other expressions, I mean, I can just 8 divided by 18, no way, that doesn't work out. I have 3 eighths times 6, um, which is not, which, oh, you know what, that would actually work as well, so we can circle that one. I have 8 divided by 6 times 3, so 8, 6, that would not work, and then um, this one would not work either. 6 times 8 divided by 3. So those other ones do not work. And my ex explanation is that I can prove these expressions have the same product by solving them. And then I'll go ahead and solve each one. And when I solve each of the expressions, I get 2 and 1 fourth for each one of their answers. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at um, problem number five. And it says, Fantine bought flour for her bakery each month and recorded the amount in the table to the right. For A through C, write an expression that records the calculation described, then solve to find the missing data in the table. Okay, so let's take a look at A and B. So A says she bought three-fourths of January's total in August. So let's look at January. She bought three pounds, so I need to find three-fourths of that, which is three-fourths times three, three times three over four, which is equal to nine-fourths, which is equal to two and one-fourth. So in August, I'm going to write my answer as two and one-fourth, okay? She bought seven-eighths as much in April as she did in October and July combined. So let's take a look. October, she has three-fourths. In July, she has one and one-fourth. So adding one and one-fourth plus three-fourths is equal to two. So I can write this um, down using my parentheses as seven-eighths times one and one fourth plus three fourths, which is equal to seven eighths times, and I did my work already, so that answer is two, which is equal to seven times two over eight, 14, oops, let's make that a little smaller. I have 14 over eight, which is one, and six eighths, which is also equal to one and three fourths. And that is for April, so I'll write it right in there. One and, oops, let's make that a little bit neater. One and three fourths. Now you need um, those calculations to go ahead and solve the rest of the problems.